lovely scoop lined up for you because I'm at the Crown and Anchor in Chiswick where I'm interviewing Jazz Lintot of The Real Hustle and other exciting big films which I'm going to be asking him questions about but you better not try and hustle me. He's inside. Who's getting the drinks in? Himself. Jazz, welcome to your Nine Scoops. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure. Of course it is. Uh, <laughs> nine questions. Hit me with one. Okay, <laughs> first question. Last 12 months, Yes. mental, you've uh, been working in a lot of big films with a lot of big actors. Yes. Jean-Claude Van Damme. That was an experience, that was a very good experience. Matt Smith, this is just a couple. Yeah, no, the last 12 months have been, um, I've been really, I've been, I've, I've been really fortunate, I feel really lucky um, to have been able to work with the people that I've worked with and uh, the different film projects that, um, that we've been doing because, you know, like everything, you always learn something new from each project yeah. that you've been on. So as you progress, you obviously, you never stop learning in this industry. Um, and to be fortunate enough to work with like, I got offered a part in a play actually with, uh, that Stephen Burkhoff was directing about two years okay. ago. And I was really gutted because I signed a contract to do um, this film for NBC just before I got offered it. And oh, I really, really wanted nice to... problems. Well, no, but I really wanted to work <laughs> with uh, Stephen Burkhoff, so that, that ate at me for like, about a year and a half, that really got to me. Um, and I, I, I never stopped thinking about it. I was like, oh, I really wish I did that play with yeah. him. And then I got a call up to, to do a cameo in this film for a couple of scenes, and the scenes were all with him, so I was just so like... it was fate. Yeah, it was fate, exactly, exactly. It was meant to be that way. Yeah, so I felt, yeah, and I've been really lucky this year. It's like Stephen Burkhoff, Michael Madsen, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, I mean, legend! Yeah, it was really, really cool. It was really, really fun. Well, we've been doing our research. Yes. Uh, and is it true Kevin Spacey spotted you? Um, oh. Not really. Well, what happened was... <laughs> <laughs> what happened was, it was... Um, it was... When was that? That was a, a year and a half ago. It was... Oh, yeah, that was what it was. It was um, the Spotlight uh, nominate um, two best actors from uh, each drama school, male and female. Yeah. Um, and so I was nominated one of the best actors, and uh, Kevin Spacey came to the, um, to the, I suppose, performance competition. Like a showcase. Yeah, right? and then after that he picked a few people to do a workshop, um, and so I went along to that workshop and went through monologues and stuff, and that was, that was really cool actually, I That's completely forgot amazing. about that. Yeah, that was really oh, cool. it's just one of those things, it really no, not at a, all. No, it was amazing. my mind for a while. But I completely forgot about it until <laughs> you just mentioned it, but no, that was, that was really fun actually. Yeah. Um, it also says on your CV, Yeah. because you've been digging deep, you do a very good oh, RP right. accent. A very good RP accent. So well, I suppose it's one of those things like... Well, do it. I think we should do that rest of the uh, interview. We should it? do the rest of the interview in an RP accent. Would you like that? I'd absolutely love to. Absolutely spiffing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of those things that an actor does you know when you put on your CV. It's like RP, horse riding, <laughs> yeah. bowling. I can do everything. You can do a great accent. Yeah. Yeah. If you need a get, scouser, I'm your girl. And then you get the call. Oh, God, I've got, uh, I've got to learn to do scouse now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and my of, skiing yeah. is amazing. I actually am a good skier. Oh, I love you? skiing. You could, yeah. you could be the next James Bond. He just thinks like that. Dave, you, you've really done your research, haven't you? Yeah. That's what I want to be, so if anyone's <laughs> watching who wants to, you know, a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, amazing news alert. Yes. You're in The Real Hustle. Yes, yes. We've done um, two series of The Real Hustle. I think the current series is on at the moment. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was a real lot of fun. Um, there's been a couple of instances where I've literally been brick in it like really? there's been first occasion was we, we had to we went to this guy's house and what we do is we basically steal his uh, plasma from from his house and we tell him that we're giving him a new one um, it's 3d he's like oh but I've already bought a, a TV about three months ago it's 42 inches and we're like oh well this one's 48 inches and it's 3d and you can watch all the sport in 3d and blah 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 it takes a bit while to convince him and he's like all right fine we say look if you're not happy with the 3d TV we'll bring your telly back um, and you can keep that, but if you do like it, you can keep it, you write a review for the magazine, blah, 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 blah. So he went in no, and took... I think I'd fall for that. Uh, well, yeah, he fell for it, and the thing is, we turned up, and he was this Scottish guy who was just, like, built like a house, and he no, was a sick damn karate sensei. <laughs> so we get in the house, we, we, we're carrying the box, our TV, which is basically just a box with um, phone books in it, just for weight, and he, the first thing he said was, like, you're not trying to con me, are you? I'm like, oh, don't be silly, you've got the TV here, where's, uh, where's the sitting room? So then we go in, we take his TV down, put it in the thing, in the truck, and we're meant to just drive off, but he followed us out. 
So then I was like, oh shit, what do I do? So I had to take him back inside and I was just sitting there thinking, oh God, how am I, how, how can I keep him in here? So I was like looking at his wall thinking, okay. So I see you've got brackets up on the wall. Um, I can either take these brackets down and drill, um, drill a new bracket uh, from the new TV and put that on, but it might make a couple of holes. Or I can leave this one here and, and we can put it on. He was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, just leave it. I want holes and stuff. And I was like, all right, perfect. So we just clear the, the mantelpiece of all the ornaments and stuff so I don't knock anything. You I'll go and get the old. Hustler. Yeah, so then as, as, we, as, uh, as he was doing that, I just got in the van and drove off. But then he obviously realized he got in the car with his samurai <gasps> sword and he was chasing us. Um, and he left his phone there, uh, so we had no way of contacts or anything, so the producer was chasing him, chasing us. And then me and Alex got to a dead end. And he was like, Jazz, get out, because the hustle van's a big van, it's like really big. He was like, Jazz, get out, uh, reverse me out. I was like, are you kidding me? You want me to get out? And he was like, get out. He's like, got a soul! Yeah, I was like, quick! <laughs> Um, so that was one scary time, and yeah, it's been quite a few actually. Like How that. do the producers find the people? Um, there's a whole team of people. Like, there's loads of people behind the scenes. Um, they, well, they're like put in like that one for instance. Oh no, well, one of them was where, like we put an advert out in the paper saying um, we did one with Sam Frez from The Only Way Is Essex, yeah. and it was basically she had a divorce with her husband. She was clearing the house out, selling everything. So they just put an advert in the paper saying house clearance sale listed some of the things that were there and then people turn up um, and yeah just like that really but there's a there's a there's a big production team behind it it's a, it's a lot of hard work what was your favorite hustle um, my favorite hustle was um, there's so many of them that are really fun but my favorite one was we did a poker one with Jodie Latham who was in Shameless and EastEnders oh yeah it, it, yeah EastEnders yeah 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 I oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice yeah, he's a really nice yeah. guy. He's really cool. Proper down to earth. I can't imagine him being good with a hustle. Uh, he was all right actually. He was quite good, but it was a big. Me. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. It was a lot of that. Um, but yeah, it was a poker so, one. So um, we always ask people the same question on this yep. program. One of those questions is about ice cream. Yes. If you were a scoop of ice cream, what flavour would you be and why? That's a tricky one. That is a tricky one. I think um, I would be. A mix, I think. I would like be. Fine. <laughs> I just like the two. No, I'd have, I think, a rum and Ooh. mango sorbet. I think so. No? Well, the mango. I've never tried rum and mango, but maybe No, I've never tried rum and mango. Is that a particular mine? rum? Um, I like a Sailor Jerry's myself. I yeah, well, I, you know, I drink any rum, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> any rum's good. So you'd basically just be alcohol ice cream? Yes, exactly. Addictive? Exactly. And I think relaxing. it sums me up. Yeah, that's exactly the reasons. I love that. And a sweet taste in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Next question we always ask everyone is about the North Pole. Yes. Which is cold. Yes. Like ice cream. Like ice cream, exactly. So if you're stuck in the North Pole, yep. and you had five items and five items only, what would they be? Oh, five items. Uh, well, I think I'd have to be sensible for some of it. So I'd have to have um, some thermal socks, I think. Okay. Just, just you know, you've got to keep just your feet like warm. Just maybe a thermal onesie. Yeah, a thermal onesie, exactly. Yeah, you can get a nice Maybe an animal ones. one. Yeah. Um, I, I would have. Like an otter. Exactly. No, 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 no. I wouldn't be that because <laughs> polar bear would get, you know, yeah, might get right. confused, and that'd be it. <laughs> um, I'd probably take, uh, yeah, a nice onesie to keep warm. Yeah. Um, and I'd have to take uh, an iPod or something, some music. I'd yeah. have to keep a bit of music to keep me sane. Um, you could maybe build it into the onesie. Yeah. So could be. A onesie with wiring. Then, then it's the, I suppose that's two in one. Yeah. Um, I'm being very generous today, but yeah. <laughs> so that's that, and I'd probably bring a. Um, am I allowed to bring a female? Yeah. And bring a female. You with need me to just... dress her as well because a lot of people on this have said I'd bring five naked women. They're gonna die pretty quickly, and you don't. I want wouldn't five be greedy. Bodies. I wouldn't bring five. I just. But she'd still be naked. Well, no, she, she could come clothed, obviously. She could have yeah. a wired onesie as well. Yes, exactly, she could All have right. a wired onesie. So I'd have a female, a wired onesie, music, um, and <laughs> um, Twister, just because if I'm going to be, you know, if there's some awkward <laughs> moments, you may as well play a game of Twister. Always breaks the ice. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Very good. Um, and what else would I take? I would take, um, I would take a bloody skidoo. I don't know what skidoo is. Maybe there's no such thing as a skidoo. <laughs> you know those... Um, those is it like, like a jet ski but on yeah, snow? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Is it, it's called, is it a it's skidoo? It's a bond thing again. Yeah, exactly, a bond thing again. Oh, so you'd have your, you in your onesie, your woman in her onesie, yeah. playing some tunes exactly. on your skidoo, yes. with your twister under your arm. Exactly. See, I think um, we got it, I think yeah. we got it. Yeah, definitely. Right, I, hope I hope that is called a skidoo.
If it wasn't, it is now. Exactly, and you know what I mean. Yeah, better than anyway. <laughs> it's got a moral. So The Real Hustle's coming out, you've got all these yeah. amazing films coming out. Yes. What's after that? What's next? What can you? What else can you possibly do? Um, well, I'm in, a, I've, I'm in a talks in a minute. I've got a film that I'm due to start in May, June time, which I'm really excited about. Um, and that's got Samuel L. Jackson in, so I'm just like totally thrilled and yes. totally over the moon I about that. I so. Yeah, it's really cool. Like. I'm just really excited. I'm really excited for, for, for the next year and what's to come. Um, I think the key is you just always, things don't get given to you on a plate, nothing gets handed to you. If you want something, you've got to be prepared to put in the work and, yeah. and graft and grind for everything. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to this year. Um, that film, I'm just totally excited about. Like, I'm really, really excited can you tell about. Tell us what it's about. Um, I'm not sure how much I can say because I've been in trouble before um, <laughs> on film sets. I, 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 I took a picture of Van Damme when we were re rehearsing lines together and I put it on Twitter, just not thinking, next thing, like there's lawsuits coming in and I'm, everyone's having a go at me. I was like, I didn't even mean it, I'm so sorry. So I probably can't tell you too much, but it's very exciting. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, um, and Adrian and Mikey have got some scripts, I know that are looking very that's cool. That's the Mellow 19. That's the Mellow 19, exactly. So I'm really looking forward to um, hopefully working with them because they're just brilliant writers who, and like I say, they're, they're a prime example of um, people who don't, uh, you know, you have to keep on grinding, you have to keep on working to achieve something and there's no one who works harder than them and um, just keeps on persevering with it. Well, um, they're going to be there as well when we follow your route to Hollywood stardom. Well, I'm, they'll probably be doing the same they'll route. They'll be with you. They'll be doing the same route. Taking the same trip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. thank you very much for your interview. No worries that at all, your thank nice you very views. much. It was Jess. It's been a pleasure. Oh, check you out. Yeah, I'm Jazz Lintot and make sure you keep it mellow nine. Cool, cool, yay! <laughs>